Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Hello, collective, and welcome to your edition of Ghosted. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Collective is a friendly reminder. We all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Collective, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Collective, as I'm progressing through the reading and it does not resonate with you at all, then you probably were not ghosted. If you were here because you want to know why you were ghosted, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your patience. I haven't been feeling well. As you can see, well, maybe you can't. I just got out of the hospital. We messed my arm all up. Whatever. Keeping it moving. Spirit, why did the collective get ghosted? Why did the collective get ghosted? The cards are pre shuffled. Why did the collective get ghosted? But they telling me to shuffle again. Why did the collective get ghosted? I'm being led to do this read in a different way. Why did the collective get ghosted? So that's what we're going to do. Okay, you're telling me, look at this bottom card. Rejection. Something you said made me feel rejected. So collective, the reason for this reading is the cross watcher feels rejected. There's something you said that makes this person feel rejected. Now, I'm not saying that it's actually true. I'm just telling you this, the energy that's coming out. At the bottom of the deck, you have unavailable. I'm emotionally attached to someone else. I didn't know how to tell you. It seems like your person is emotionally attached to someone else. They didn't know how to tell you. And there's something that you possibly could have said to make the person feel rejected. You have unavailable. I wanted you in my life. But not in the way you wanted me to. I had to disconnect to get clarity. Because it wasn't fair to you. So collective your person didn't want a relationship spirit can you tell me why the why the cross watcher was unavailable no spirit can you tell me why the cross watcher was unavailable why was the cross watcher unavailable it seems like that Whatever you was being brought to your attention about this person collective, it was frustrating you. You was aware of the frustration. There was a lot of distance and space between the two of you. It's almost like um, y'all wasn't spending a lot of time together. And it caused a lot of frustration. And the pers your person is saying, listen, they want you in a life, but they don't want a they don't want a relationship. They, they're happy. They like things the way they are. Your person likes things exactly the way they are. Spirit, it seems like the cross watcher is happy with the way things are. They didn't want, it looks like they didn't want a relationship. Tell me about it. Yeah. Your person is working on something possibly in their own life. And I'll explain that. You have the fox. You had the snake and the star. 
so this is what i'm getting you wanted to heal this connection right um you could have known this person a long time but you if you haven't you feel like you and this person are connected but here lies the rub your person needs to um undergo a spiritual awakening your person is very toxic they're inflexible your person is i want to say a strategist but they're really just cunning okay so what happens is your person makes you wait because they're entertaining something else possibly with an aquarius doesn't have to be i'm going to roll the dice later and see what signs come up but whatever you said and and i really don't i think this is just an excuse that they're going to give you that they felt rejected by something you said i see that your person doesn't have room to maneuver because they're already in another type of commitment and that's what they're guarding from you okay they're trying to heal and fix something else and what makes me say this is because with this stork car and this happiness maybe a person is moving like undergoing a physical move or they're happy with uh leveling up another connection but they don't want it with you. Does that make sense? They like things just the way they are. So let me pull some tarot on this. Spirit, can you tell the collective why the cross watcher is happy with the way things are? They don't want, it looks like they don't want a relationship. They want the cross watcher in their life though. Can you tell, I'm sorry, they want the collective in their life. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, this person has a lot of secrets. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> you have the Lovers. Oh, you knew about it in the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you... I mean, Collective, I'm sorry. I'm getting looped into another type of reading. Collective, what you're telling me is you knew that this person didn't want a commitment. They possibly were already married or another fine, uh, another uh, commitment or another family um, connection. So, it's like you 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 don't want it either at this point you realize that this person might have another lover and this is why you walked away cross watcher i see where you had a lot of emotions for this person but you made a decision to walk away because nothing wasn't transforming it's like whatever this was it was getting old it was getting old and when your person is telling you with this high priestess card, some of you done with Scorpio, is this person is actually secretly building another connection. They are building another connection. Spirit, can you tell me about this high priestess card? But intuitively, you know what's going on. Tell me about this high priestess card. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. And you're telling me, Cross Watcher, that you did express to this person that you wanted to work on this. However, um, there was some competition here. You, I think you purposely asked this person to give you your attention. You wanted to talk to them um, about, look, did you, did you start something new? Do you have something new here? Are you holding something back from me about having something new? And I think you wanted to talk to this person about this. Well, what they're secretly keeping from you is this three of wands, this three of wands. Um, your person, when, it get, when things get too emotional for your person, your person doesn't know what to do. They're like just strand, stranded right up here on this roof while all these emotions are going on. But they're expecting something else to come into them with this shit, okay? So they're waiting. And in this wait with this Five of Swords energy, they sabotage this connection. They purposely were like making you wait. They purposely were making you wait because it's like they didn't want a commitment. And by spending more time with you, it would have gave the wrong impression. So, yes, they were looking to see what else is out there. But whatever they're finding out there is not, is not meeting their expectations. It's a lot of problems. And with this Knight of Swords energy, 
um, the two of you could have had some arguments about it. And I think because of this person sabotaging this connection and looking to see what else is out there and whatever they find, then again, it's not good. It's not good. So I think what happened is somebody was like, look, well, this is over with this Knight of Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So it looks like that, um, and, the, and the reason they're not talking is because they don't want to have this argument. They just want to keep the peace because I don't think things are that bad right now. They just want to keep the peace. And they really don't want to tell you what it is they're doing. So let's look at this Five of Swords because it's your person that's sabotaging this. Tell me about this Five of Swords for the Cross Watcher. Can you tell the Collective why this Five of Swords is here, Spirit? Can you tell the Collective why this Five of Swords is here? Yeah, you're dealing with a very indecisive person. They just want things their way. Collective, you have the Seven of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. <laughs> And you had an eight of pentacles. All these seven, eight, eight. So you just focused on yourself. Working on your own happiness. It's like, you know what? You want to get away from all these lies, this confusion, this illusion. For some of you, you felt like you was working on something that was unrealistic. It was unrealistic. It could have been some nostalgia, like wanting things to be the way they used to be. Yeah, it's like you wanted things to be the way they used to be. Well, for your person, the Five of Swords energy is this Two of Pentacles. See, your person is definitely, they could be very busy or they're juggling. They're juggling. And with this Two of Wands energy, your person is confused. They don't know what they want. They do not know what it is they want. And with the strength card, it's like they're determined to do things their way. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. They're determined to do things their way because right now they're confused. They don't know what, what it is they want. So they're not making any moves, collective. Your person has gossip. I heard gossip about you. That really has me confused. So your person is saying that they could have heard something about you. Now, whatever it is they heard with this creativity card, it was a lie. It was a lie. I could tell you they heard uh, they they heard something, and whatever it was, it was a lie. I see you were very loyal to this person, or this person does have a level of loyalty towards you. But somebody told this person something. And with that creativity card, it was a lie. But nonetheless, it has your persons confused and heartbroken with this three of swords. So maybe it's not something you said that made them feel rejected. It's something somebody else said that made them feel rejected. And so now your person is pulling back. Now they are seeing other people. And with this three of swords energy, this is confirming it. But whatever this person heard about you, it was a lie. And it caused them a level of disappointment. Spirit, can you tell me what this three is, what is this three of swords about? Can you tell the collective why the cross watcher is experiencing the three of swords? At the bottom of the deck, you have the hierophant. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. You have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Two of Pentacles. So this person could have heard that you was juggling them with somebody else, that you had somebody else there in the background. Um, this person could have heard what they think is the truth. And they feel, I'm noticing how these cards look really dark. And it's like your person is not, it's like they're mummified. They don't want to even address this. They don't even want to address this. They trying to figure out if they should address this. Because it's like either they want your forgiveness or they feel like you should be seeking their forgiveness. But right now, they're not ready to talk about it. They still weighing the pros and cons over here. 
But what disappointed your person is this five of pentacles. This five of pentacles. It's like somebody has your person like just somebody played with your person's mind. I'm serious. Somebody played with your person's mind and they allowed it. They allowed it. And so now they feel abandoned. And with the star card energy right now, it's like this person wants to come away from this. They want to heal this, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. They're not right now. They're not coming towards you. And with this page of wands, it's because they're really angry. They feel like that if they come towards you right now to fix this, it's just going to increase the demons, increase the toxicity. So they're just really not doing anything. And they, it looks like they're believing whatever what was said, but it was a lie. I can clearly see it was a lie. Collective, you have differences. I thought you were just playing mind games, so I didn't bother. So now, based off of whatever this person heard, they think you're playing mind games. And I told you, because they're not taking any steps right now. They want to be left alone. They want to be left alone with this isolation card. They want to be left alone, and they feel like they need to think about this before they make any moves. So your person needs time to be alone based off of um, the fact they thought you were playing mind games with them. Or you could have did the ghosting. And because you felt like your person was playing mind games with you. And with this hanging one, the hanging one, some of you are dealing with a Pisces. It's like somebody really felt like someone wasn't making any moves because they was playing these games. It's the perception of it. You're not making no moves. I'm not making no moves either. I just want to be left alone because you playing games. That's what I'm hearing. So whoever did the ghosting, the person that did the ghosting feels like they heard something about somebody being in another connection and that they don't want to let it go. And whatever they heard hurt their feelings, and they like, look, just leave me alone. Why is the hanging one here? Can you tell the collective why the hanging one is here? At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. You have the two of pentacles, and you have the sun. So you have clarity. You have clarity. Oh, you want clarity. You're going to get it. You're going to get the clarity that you need. And when you get this clarity, it's going to make you happy. Okay? Because it's like you really don't have enough information right now. You can't even figure out what's going on. But you will get the clarity. You just don't have it yet. So this person is eventually going to talk to you. Because here with this hanging this hanging one, they're going to change their perception with this wheel of fortune. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign, such as an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So your person is going to change their perspective. And they're going to make a logical decision, even though they feel bad to come in and talk to you. With this king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So they're going to make a logical decision. They're going to come in and talk to you. And they possibly could be severing another connection. Because it's like your person do miss you. In relation to this Ace of Cups. So your person is headed towards you. They don't want to let you go because that sword is down. Your person is changing their perception. They want to come in and talk to you about uh, renewing his love. But right now, they aren't making any moves. You don't see this coming because that moon energy is there. Collective, your person has fear. 
I felt things were moving too fast and I panicked. I wasn't in the space to handle anything heavy. And again, for some reason, your person fears commitment. Like I was getting it over here. Do you make them happy? Yes. When y'all together, do y'all have a great time? Yes. However, your person is trying to control all components or aspects of this connection. Okay. And they felt, I'm trying to remove that glare. They felt like things were moving too fast, which caused them to panic, you know, and they, they're not in the space to deal with these emotions. Because I'm telling you, when your person start feeling emotions, it's like this. It's like a cyclone, a hurricane. It's too much for them. So now they're going to they wanna reach out eventually because they want to make something happen. But this involves a bit of strategy for your person. They're going to tell you the truth about, look, I got scared. I got scared things was moving too fast, but I do want to make something happen with you. But it's just, I need more time. And with this two of cups, because you their soulmate. So when it comes to having a relationship with you, your person does want to make something happen with you, but they need things to slow down because they feel like it's too much happening too fast and they're panicking. Can you tell the collective why their person is feeling the two of cups? Tell the collective why their person is feeling the two of cups. Yeah, they don't like them damn emotions. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups. You have Death. Some of you are Scorpios or dealing with Scorpio in the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Cross watching. You like, I'm done with this shit. This is dead and buried. This is dead death. <laughs> Let me bring it closer. This is death, dead, and buried. The five of cups. You like this is dead and gone. And with this page of pentacles, you telling me that whatever you learn, you don't want this no more. Oh, they want to listen to other people? I don't want this. Oh, they, they ain't had balls to come talk to me? I don't want this. Oh, they that scared? I don't want this. Oh, they want to uh, purposely make me wait playing games? I don't want this. Because with this page of pentacles, you might feel like this person is making shit up as they go along. And you just realize this is the behaviors they have. Because I'm looking at all them that smoke, like all that confusion. You feel like this person just tells you anything to keep you stuck in place and is shrouded in confusion. And you don't want this. Like, you feel like this is dead and buried. Okay. Well, your person feels like with the nine of wands, they do want to be with you. But they're, they're afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid to move. The more they think about these emotions, the bigger the obstacle becomes. This person is very skeptical. When it comes to relationships, commitment with this Hierophant energy, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. But this person is afraid of commitment, afraid of relationship. They feel like it's too happy. And with the Six of Pentacles energy, this person don't even feel like they can meet you on, the, on your level. They feel like it's some growing up. They need to do spirit, some spiritual awakening they need to undergo. And they want you to forgive them. But when it comes to relationships, relationships, this shit too heavy for your person. It's too heavy for your person. They are afraid of this commitment. They like, I ain't moving. They staying where it's safe. And they feel like they can't give you what you need or meet you on your level anyway. 
but let's see what this hierophant energy is about because it looks like there needs to be some sort of spiritual awakening here because this person looks mummified like mm -mm. tell me about this hierophant energy for the collective spirit why the hierophant okay that's too much why is this hierophant energy here for the collective Get this person literally panics like shit when it comes to com commitment. You had the seven of swords, you had the ace of cups, and you had the ten of swords. And you are like sexy. This person just a damn liar. They a liar. I know they feel what they feel for me, but they don't do anything. They lie to themselves about their emotions. I agree, Cross. What I mean, I agree, Collective. They are lying to themselves about their emotions. It freaks them the hell out. So that's why they ghost. Child, you think I'm lying? I'm clarifying this higher thing. What will be a commitment? Because we talk about this relationship where this person feels as though things are moving too fast. Every time when this person be like, all right, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on the relationship. Those pinnacles going to the damn fire. This person starts sweating like, no, what if they hurt me? This is set up. I'm going to get in a relationship. They're going to have a third party. Um, No, th this person going to start cheating on me. And they just going to break my heart and disappoint me. And with this nine of swords, they literally start spazzing out when they think of a relationship. Because I'm clarifying the hierophant. thing. This person is not anywhere near ready for a commit at all. Let me get you some advice. Spirit, what advice you had? What advice you had for the collective regarding this ghosted reading? What? Okay. Spirit, like, just move on. You don't need this. <laughs> Spirit, what advice you have for the collective regarding this ghosted reading? Spirit, what advice you have for the collective regarding this ghosted reading? What advice you have for the collective regarding this ghosted reading? Listen, when it comes to playing around and having a good time with this person, meaning having sex and things, this person is all in. They all in with this yes, okay? However, spirit is like, your commitment is being tested. Are you more loyal to this person or are you more loyal to you? Okay? Because this person is just happy with the way things are. So, do you want more for yourself? Because spirit, like, look at the bigger picture. After the good times is over, after this is all gone, what are you left with? So, your commitment to yourself is being tested. I'm going to tell you that right now. Collective spirit is saying there's something better. There's something better. But you got to love yourself first. Some of you may be depressed right now. You know... And you need to work on your self-esteem. Some of you, you think this person don't think you're good enough. And that's not the case. You need to feel love for yourself. And Spirit also wants you to know there's somebody better than this person here. And trust me, the two of you are going to talk. And conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. And when you talk to this person, you let them know this not working for you. You putting yourself first. Okay? Don't don't be settling for this nonsense. 
Spirit is like improve your spiritual health. Improve your spiritual health. And the reason why I say that, because all the chakras is lit up. Improve your spiritual health. Because ain't no way in the world you should have thought that nothing like this was your person. Because I saw the two of cups and the lovers. This could be the one after they grow up. And put it this way, your person needs to undergo a spiritual awakening and then they may be ready. You need to get your uh your spiritual health in order and then you'll be ready. Neither one of you are ready, just to keep it all the way honest. And have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Do not give up on love. Don't enter this bitter space of why isn't this working? Well, I'm giving up on love. Spirit like, no, just communicate clearly about what makes you happy. And then make sure you know exactly what it is you want. Because something is coming into you very soon, collective. And it's going to be full of a new beginning. So you work on your spiritual health and loving yourself and everything will come together. But all this playing around just one night stands whatever's going on is a bunch of nonsense so collective this has been your ish your edition of ghosted please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell collective if you would like to be notified when i go live or upload a video peace collective aries taurus gemini and cancer Check out Sexy Tarot, she has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot.